Hola gang, welcome to a two-part review. Today, I am over here at McDonald's to try their hash brown. Yeah! Welcome back to Old Nerd Reviews. I'm Tony, your old nerd of the day, and I do try things so you don't have to. So, yeah! This is gonna be a two-parter because I found an article on Mashable the other week that said if you want the equivalent of a McDonald's hash brown at home, you can get the Aldi brand Season's Choice hash browns and they taste just like McDonald's. And I'm gonna test that theory for you guys. So I've got a package at home, but today we're just here at McDonald's to do a quick recap on what a McDonald's hash brown actually tastes like. So let's do this first. I'm ordering through the drive-thru here on the McDonald's app. There we go. Good morning. I've got a mobile order for LT67. Oh, that's it. All right, thank you. Yeah, the uh, app cuts it off at old, so I'm not old nerd here. I'm just old. Yeah, Morning. Cheese, no, just a hash brown. Sir, please, sir, please give me just a sec. Hold on. Can you hear me? Can you give me just a second? I'm trying to handle the customer at the front door, please. J just a hash brown. Somebody hassling you? I'm saying you just come instantly get up that way. Hello, hello, how are you doing? Oh, I mean, let me handle you. I'm going back to you. Right. All right, thank you, you ma'am. You too. Have a blessed one. You too. Go ahead with your water. Don't hassle people. Hi there. Yes, thank you very much. Have a blessed day. All right, well, that happened. Don't don't harass fast food workers unless they're really bad. Okay, now, handy dandy steering wheel tray there to keep everything in its place and off my lap. There is a single napkin. Hopefully I won't need more than one. And there is the notorious McDonald's hash brown right there. And it's a little sleeve. There's a look at it right there. If you've never seen a McDonald's hash brown, which I'm sure you have. So, yep, that's it egg-shaped oblong um, it's got some salt content I can feel it on there grease feels like the the greaser guy back there needs some help um, yeah if I was a greaser in the 50s I could comb myself a ducktail with the grease that's on this. Okay, maybe it's not that bad, but it, it does need to be degreased a little bit better. All right, well, really, there's nothing more to say about it. Last look, give it a shot. There's a look inside for you, all potato-y. Do it again. All right, one of the reasons we're doing this before I give you the damage is to see if all of us can get something that tastes like a McDonald's hash brown, but isn't, and it's a lot cheaper. Okay, now fanfare everybody. The damage on a single McDonald's hash brown, where I am, $2.69. That's absolutely freaking crazy. That's stupid, stupid, stupid. I mean, you can get a burger 
at some places for cheaper than that. This thing should be on their one, two, and three dollar deal menu, which by the way, is not, there's nothing on that menu that's a dollar. There's nothing on that menu that's two dollars. Everything is over two dollars. So I don't see why they don't say, you know, two plus and three. I, I guess that'd be too weird. But I mean, it, it, it's deceiving. I don't like it. Last bite. All right, let's go ahead and break this thing down. It's It's got a nice crunch to it. Um, lightly salted. Too much grease. Need to degrease that a little bit more. Um, solid. Uh, it has a fairly nice potato flavor to it. A little underdone inside for me. Um, but it's it's your your you know your typical McDonald's flavored hash brown. See, I really do have a love hate relationship with McDonald's because their fries are just you can't beat McDonald's fries, and um, you know a few of the other things that they've had that I've tried has been really good, but McDonald's has gotten very antiseptic looking. It looks more like a doctor's office than anything else anymore. It used to be fun. It used to be colorful and, and you know, fun. It just a fun atmosphere to be in all the way around. And now it just isn't. They are way, way, way too expensive. And that's why they're having so much trouble. That's why they're struggling right now is because they are just so freaking expensive. For the price of a meal, easily. I could go down to the beach, sit at a beachside table in a restaurant, and have a meal there for basically the same price. Now when you can do that, you know something's wrong here at McDonald's. Okay, there's my, my soapbox rant on McDonald's. On the Nerdometer, I would give the McDonald's hash brown, um, I would give this a high meh. <clears throat> And I'm giving it that because, first of all, McDonald's hash brown, it, it's pretty good stuff. But it, it's not fabulous. It's not anything totally ingenious in the fast food world. It's freaking hash brown. And it's way, way too expensive. $2.69 for that, I say nay nay. Okay, so I'm gonna see if I can get you a McDonald's hash brown, the equivalent of a McDonald's hash brown for a lot cheaper price. So the the seasons, what I say it was seasons, I wanna say seasons greetings, I know it's not that. Um, something seasons um, from Aldi, that will be on Thursday's review, so go ahead and stay tuned for that, um, and, and we'll go ahead and do it the right way. We're going to air fry these things so we can see. I mean, air frying makes everything you put in it better. It's just magic. But we're going to see if we can make a McDonald's hash brown for a lot cheaper straight from home. So stay tuned for that. All right. Thank you so much for being here. Another review in the bag. Uh, give this video a thumbs up and go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. I really do appreciate that. really does help out a lot. Check out all the nerdy groovy links that, down below in the description. If you do all that, you too can become a part of the coffee swilling old nerd crony community. Okay, you guys have a freaking awesome day. And I'll talk to you again. Bye now.